Welcome back to Instruments of Destruction, and today we are back in the workshop looking at some crazy creations, starting with Dual Blades 1.2, which uh, looks like it's a helicopter with two sets of intersecting blades, which is a thing that does exist in real life, and the challenge is, uh, well, it's actually not really a challenge in real life, because they're kind of programmed to never collide with each other the way that the gears work but i don't know how you do that necessarily in instruments of destruction but this is a creation built by unripe and i'm looking forward to flying this thing around and watching these blades all right here we go okay apparently we hop in the beginning oh. i'm i haven't pressed a single button yet don't know why it's doing this in particular here let me try respawning it back in does the same thing happen Oh, now we have lasers? We didn't have lasers before. I'm so confused. All right, I'm gonna press uh, buttons and see what happens. I think the arrows control, there we go. So the arrows control the blades and they definitely work. Oh, we can open up the cockpit too. That's pretty cool. Wait, what's my speed? Oh, my game speed was on two times. All right, I may have slightly fixed oh there's there's some more weapons too uh so now now we seem to okay now this feels a little bit better all right excellent so now we can use control to go down and it kind of hovers all right this is more like it all right oh now it's okay now it's now it's doing the thing where it turns on its own okay but it's at least slower and more controllable all right now let's try to actually use these weapons here i think i have a strafe mode too yeah, I can strafe left like that. All right. And then there we go. All right. Now what is H going to do? Nothing. H does nothing. Oh, I probably... Oh, H closes the cockpit. Okay, we can open up the cockpit and then we can close it. Oh, look at that. It pushes our seat forward too. That's pretty cool. But now we have a bunch of number pad stuff. Oh, we can aim those guns. Ooh. Okay. And then we have number one, which is rockets. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then what is number two gonna be? Oh, we got like rocket swarm. Let's do both of them at the same time. Oh, yeah. And then the machine gun as well. All the weapons. And there we go. As we blast off into space with our recoil, we have destroyed all the buildings. Okay, moving on. We can't spend too much time on one creation because I got a bunch of awesome stuff to look at. Okay, up next is the LCCH Dynamo. This is by Arad, a simple machine before the Easter special. Okay, so this, this is interesting. This is unique. All right, station jump. Okay, apparently we can jump. Dis jump. Okay, we got two different things, two different bodies here that we're controlling. Station controls. And then disc controls. It has sounds. Do you hear that? Forced opening zero. Okay. Adjust heights five and six. Oh, ooh, that's interesting. All right, let's do this. Switch camera. Was well, this a camera that follows? Oh, we can switch which thing the camera follows. Oh. What? Oh my goodness. Whoa. I'm controlling that. I just severed the building completely. So I think we just, I think we just charged up the disc. How long until it discharges? This is crazy. Oh, and the thing opens up. When the, when the disc gets near the station, the station opens up automatically. Oh, look, I actually just got discharged. So now it goes like this. It has a different visual effect. Oh, and we just charged up apparently. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm stuck inside. This is such a weird but cool creation. We need another charge. Open up, please. Thank you. Let's charge it up. All right. And there we go. Okay, hold on. I need to adjust height. Let's go down. There we go. All right, man, such a unique creation. Oh, let's change the camera to camera one now. There we go. That makes more sense, doesn't it? It was kind of fun watching it from a third-person perspective. I mean, I'm still in a third-person perspective, but watching it from the station perspective. All right, well, that's a unique creation. And we'll 
let it eat it back up while we transition to the next creation. Okay, up next, we've got a centipede. And this is by Beerman, a large mecha centipede. I spawned in a handful of centipedes before. This one has one of the cooler looking bodies, like with these, uh, th these segments here. So movement, head. Okay, it's very subtle, the head movement, but it, it is there. All right, let's go ahead and go forward. Okay, all right, that looks cool. I like the eyes. The eyes are really cool. All right, we have a bite, which I can use right here. Whoa, whoa, that's so strong. That bite is really strong. Let's try that again on this building. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, we just sent the building flying and apparently we have a laser as well. Whoa, that's a thick laser. That's a really thick laser. We like destroyed, like more than destroyed the building. We vaporized all the debris too. Where, Where is that coming from? Oh, I see. All right, the bite's more fun than the laser though. I actually really, I like the melee stuff. There we go. Yeah, that's so strong. I like the quickness and strength that it moves. What is the mechanism? Oh my god, it can just flip the buildings over too. Look at that. Where are these? It's, it looks like it's, it's pistons, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the pistons extending. There's just a lot of leverage. It's extending. They're really close to the to the uh, fulcrum. It just bends the joint super, super fast, creating a super strong bite. Oh, yeah. There, oh, the head movement actually takes a little bit longer than I was expecting. So now we're moving the head down. Yeah, there we go. Now we're pointing down. And then we slowly raise the head up. There we go. It takes a little bit for it to finish. All right, and then look at the legs. Look at the leg mechanism. That's kind of crazy too. We got the piston sliders going up and down. And oh, then there's it's just piston sliders. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. So if you look in here, this is the up and down motion that lifts the leg up and down. But then this slider right here is a side to side motion that works for both sides. And that's what causes the legs to go forward and back. That's pretty cool. Okay, up next we have Doom Engine X. I don't know what that means. I mean, it looks like an engine block. This is built by Johnny Arson. Hold E to activate, simple. The question is, is this an instrument of destruction or just like a thing? Well, we apparently we can drive this engine around. I guess that's a good indicator for an engine. What does Q do then? Nothing. All right, well, E to activate, here we go. All right, I don't, I don't know how this thing's working. What? You can't even see the engine. Do you hear the seagulls freaking out whenever I do that? It's just the screams of just the, their home being destroyed. They're not even here anymore. I don't even know where they all went. Oh, well, I'm in the ocean now. All right, well, that was a super simple creation. Not what I was expecting at all. It is an instrument of destruction though. Massive destruction. All right, now for something a little bit different. This is Solar System. And this is by Agent Taco. An entire soul, our entire solar system accurately represented with only particles. Make sure particles are on high settings. All right, I've put particles on high. It's a good thing I checked because for some reason it just was default on very low. The lower the game speed, the better the orbit is. I'm gonna go to 20% for now. All right, well, E to start simulation. Whoa. F, hold down for orbit. Okay, I'm gonna speed up a little bit here. So it looks like I'm following Earth. This is Earth. And looks like, oh, look at this. Here's the moon. Let me slow down a little bit. Okay, that's what it means by more accurate at lower speeds. The particles don't, um, they don't, they don't have trails as much. Wow, look at this. All right, so we're at Earth. Uh, what is this out here? Is that like, wait, wait, what? Oh, here's the planet here. I'm like, I'm like, I don't, what are all these things? These are moons around like, that's, I'm assuming that's Saturn over there and this is maybe Jupiter. I don't know, I haven't studied the planets in a long, long time. Wow. Wow, look at all this. Did you, did you include Pluto though? Was Pluto included? Is this Uranus or Neptune? Might be Neptune. Ooh. Ooh, look at the icy ring on this one. Whatever is number eight. Where, where am I right now? I don't know where I am. All right, well, I don't see Pluto. So I guess this is an updated solar system. Whoa, what is that? Wait, 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 wait. What are you? What is that one? 
Is that a comet? This is kind of crazy how expansive this is. And like, look, we got like other little, oh no, I thought, I was like, we have other little debris things orbiting. Those are the seagulls freaking out. Although there is like this right here. I don't know what that, that actually, that, I know that's building debris, Never mind. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up everything. We're gonna go maximum speed. Wow, wow, look at this. That's so cool, look at the moon orbiting around the earth there. This is so cool. Yeah, you really see the trails from this perspective. Oh, 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 I don't know what happened. I didn't do it. All right, well done. Solar system in instruments of destruction and the buildings have been destroyed by the sun. So speaking of astronomy and space, this is the dinosaur extinctor. This is by Lunar Skull. And it's apparently a building extinctor too. A little laggy when spawning in, but it gets better. Okay, there it is. Wow, look at it. The dinosaur extinctor. This is why the dinosaurs are gone. All right, uh, I can roll around and I assume like up arrow. Oh, okay. Here we go. So, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. We press down and we become, we become the asteroid that destroys everything. Here we go. Oh, I just realized I'm still on two times speed. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to do that again. Oh, how terrible. All right, here we go. Now we are on normal speed. I'm definitely gonna get a few different views of this, but I just wanna get this one again. All right, there we go. Wow, did you see the flash of light when it landed? That was pretty cool. Okay, so now, oh my goodness. Now I wanna do, was that an aftershock? All right, I'm gonna do free cam. So now it's just gonna stay here. And then this time I'm gonna go slow motion once I start going down. All right, hopefully I have a good angle here. All right, slow motion. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I probably just look up. Here it comes. Whoa. That was pretty cool. That one seemed even deadlier. The grass is gone. Whoa. Whoa, wait, 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 whoa. There was some like, opacity. <coughs> It's making me, I, I'm speechless. Taking my breath away. There was like some opacity stuff happening on my screen where it looked like there was multiple images happening at the same time. Wow, that's a lot of debris. I hit like perfectly in the center of all the buildings that time too. Wow, look at the extent. It's still, stuff is still going fast. Wow, just like all off in the distance there. Just look at, it looks like a, an asteroid field. Look at this over here. All right, I'm gonna start speeding up back to normal speed. All right, now we're at normal speed. Well, that was impressive. And that is why there's no more dinosaurs. All right, up next, I just had to spawn this next one in because it just seems like it's gonna be a, new, a unique experience. It's called a big mess of noodles. And this is by Serve. So I just wanna see how you built a big mess of noodles. Here we go. Uh-oh. Why is my camera looking this way? Don't do that. Okay, here we go. Orbit, orbit cam maybe? Well, that's interesting. This is really interesting here. There's Q and there's F. Which one's gonna do it, do you think? I'm gonna press Q first. Here we go. Q did not do it. I'm gonna press F. All right, that didn't do it. I'm gonna press up arrow. Here we go. Oh no, the game's lagging. Oh, whoa. Whoa, it's so weirdly uncomfortable. It, it looks like it's a weird physics defying thing because there's just stuff occupying space that didn't exist before it's like mass matter was definitely created during the pro during the process of this spaghettification this is not what spaghetti spaghettification is supposed to look like this is a mess of noodles i'm upping the game speed right now i wonder if it's gonna have any effect all right that's kind of that is crazy all right i'm going down to slow motion it really doesn't seem to make a difference, to be honest. All right, well, now I'm gonna bring everything back in. This should be interesting. I'm gonna go twice as, two times speed, so hopefully it goes faster. I think I'm bringing everything back in. Kind of hard to say. I mean, everything's falling back down. Is this gonna destroy the vehicle? Oh, whoa, whoa! The transition point from there being just a chaos noodles to then all of a sudden there's not really that much here. It was so sudden. 
I didn't even know if it was doing anything until it was too late. Okay. I just, I, I'm just pushing the button a little bit at a time now. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. That is so weird to see. It's just like, it just stuff starts taking up more space. Yeah, that is crazy and uncomfortable. It's just the, the, <laughs> I forget what these things are even called, but yeah, like the grappling hook things, the extendable cables. They just have so many uncomfortable visuals sometimes when people start going crazy with them. Okay, up next, we have Supreme Witch Calamitous. And this is by W. Sung. Okay, this is interesting. Is this a sacrifice back there? This looks cool. You look, it look, she looks so, so kind. Doesn't she? Looks like a little old lady. Can't do any harm. All right. Oh, look at all the names of all of these attacks. The Brimstone Storm, Beam of Calamity, Brimstone Ash Storm, Call Brimstone Monster. Are you the Brimstone Monster? Probably not. God Slayer Hyper Beam, Teleportation Hat, Control Force Field. What? All right, we can move. Oh, 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 that's not what I was expecting at all. That is really not what I was expecting at all. What is Q and E? Oh, yeah, this is. This is really strange. Oh, up and down. There we go. What's DNX gonna do? Oh, left and right. Okay, we got all the controls. All right, uh, I guess let's just go in order. Number one, I think, is the Brimstone Storm. Here we go. Oh. I'd say that looks like a Brimstone, brimstone Storm to me. All right, number two is Beam of Calamity. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I love the rings. Like Dr. Strange almost. All right, number three is Brimstone Ash Storm. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a new set of buildings here. All right, Brimstone Ash Storm. Here we go. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Very different from the Brimstone Storm. All right, number five. Wait, there's no number four? There is no number four. Number five, I think, is to call a Brimstone Monster, maybe? Let's try that. Wait, what? Was that a brimstone? Wait, why are the buildings starting to like disintegrate? All right, well, number eight is the God Slayer Hyper Beam. When does it stop? What? That was so cinematic. Look at all this debris. Hold on. Again. Look at this. The rings that form. And the laser is so epic. Okay, that's pretty cool. I love this concept of like just having different attacks. Like just building your so people so many people have just built boss monsters, boss battles with crazy attack moves. Alright, number Y is teleport hat control, maybe? Ah! The building is gone. I have taken your place. Just that noise though. So teleport hat control, I guess. We just literally teleport forwards. Number nine is a force field. Oh, cool. That is pretty cool. You gotta hold it down though. You hyper beam control. Wait, what? Oh, you is teleport hat control that that okay that's not what i was expecting does this change the y teleportation no nope. still just deadly i still don't i don't understand the brimstone monster though did i do it wrong i'm gonna try again wait what is this thing here for number five. Oh wait what wait what the, it would it did do that hold on i gotta well, i gotta see that again it's like an invisible monster or something. All right, let's watch this tower, number five. You see it like moves. We, it's really hard to see. You can see like these little red particles sometimes. Huh, there it is, the particles are over here now, I think. I think that's how that's working. When I press the button, oh, see, right over here something happened. Then it should go over here maybe. I don't know, I don't know how it works. 
Brimstone monster is an invisible monster of mystery. All right, up next is a black hole machine. It's been a while since it's had just a straight up black hole machine, but this one might be a little bit different. I don't know. All right, this is a black hole machine by Poddle. It pulverizes everything it touches. That the, the everything that touches it. Everything. All right, here we go. Whoa, it's fast. Oh my goodness, it's very fast. Whoa. Uh, is that supposed to? Oh, that's a tree. I've eaten a tree. All right, E. Okay, what does T do? Oh, T apparently goes up. Oh, okay. All right, well, here, let's go over this way. And hold E. You really got to get close, kind of. Oh, oh, that looks cool. Like the spark visuals. That's pretty cool. It doesn't pulverize. It like it eats just straight up eats. All right. Well, everything is gone now. Black hole is full. Actually, no, it's not. It's like a black hole. There's just empty all the time. No matter how much it eats, it always hungers for more. All right, I want to do one more one more thing with the black hole. Let's just fly like into a building first and then activate it. The building's just gone, instantly gone. All right, uh, and then activate. Look at that, that building is gone now. Whoa, oh, that was kind of cool. So let's take a building with us and then let go of the button. I like when you let go of the black hole button, it leaves just like circle of dust. Look at that. It's like, like a little Pokeball, a black Pokeball of destruction and doom. All right, I got one more creation to look at and I was saving this one for last because the design of it looks insane. So this is still building. Here we go. This is the ACLH Pag Paguridae. This is by Arad, a crab in his atomic home. All right, we're spawning in here. This thing looks crazy. Oh boy. Look at the, look at the shell. It's like a hermit crab. Oh, and it walks. Interesting walking animation. It works though. Let me go backwards. How does turning work? Oh, nice. It does do the legs in the right direction for turning. Look at how it's like glowing inside too. Oh, I cannot wait to see what else this thing has. The scaling on the shell is so, in, you know, scales, uh, shells don't really have scales, but they have like designs and stuff. This is so cool. Oh, we have names for special attacks again. Oh, wait, move shell? What? That's cool. This is so cool. Photon Collider, number one, here we go. Okay, number one didn't happen, nothing happened. Number one, Photon Collider. All right, Neutron Collector, number two, here we go. Hmm, do I have to open up the shell first? Wait, claws up R. Okay. Oh, there actually are claws. All right, shell open. Oh. Now does the photon collider work? Number one. Whoa. That was cool. I'm gonna have to turn around. All right, let's do Neutron Collector. Wait, the buildings. What? What is this? Antimatter Accumulator. The range. This is so cool. This is so cool. It's literally destroying. Look at this. I've never seen anything like this in Instruments of Destruction. It's like. Oh. It's like we're eating the soul of the buildings. That was pretty cool. All right, let's restart. I'm going to turn around this time. It takes a while. I'm at two times speed as well, just to make it go a little bit faster. All right, back down to normal speed, please. All right, let's open up the shell. Are we aiming? There we go. We can aim a little bit right. Oh, there we go. We got a laser now. This is cool. All right, photon collector. Here we go. Okay. Neutron collector. Oh, that was epic. That was really epic. 
All right, and one more time, I'm gonna do just the final one, but we're gonna have it closer to the buildings. All right, shell's opening up again. Such a cool sound and aesthetic. Oh, oh, it's so epic. Okay, and antimatter accumulator. This particle effect is crazy. All the glass is gone. We've literally eaten all the glass first. Oh, the buildings go in the direction of it. That's pretty epic. All right, well, I think I chose right in saving this one for last because it was just as epic as I was hoping. All right, let's go ahead and close up the shell. I actually haven't closed it before. so epic these no these noises are awesome well which one of these creations was your favorite let me know down in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this has been scrapman and i'll see you next time bye